All right, as we prepare our minds this morning for the Lord's Supper, I just want to read, uh, to start with from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, and I'll be reading um, verses 16 through the end of the chapter. From now on, therefore, we regard no one according to the flesh, even though we once regarded Christ according to the flesh, we regard him thus no longer. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. That is, in Christ, God was reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them, and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Therefore, we are ambassadors of Christ. God making his appeal through us, we implore you on behalf of Christ to be reconciled to God. For our sake, he made him to be sin who knew no sin so that in him we might become the righteous of God so as we uh, pray let's uh, think on the fact that you know Christ who was without sin took on all of our sins so that we might be righteous before God let's pray dear God as we gather here this morning and uh, commemorate your son's death and his burial and, and his resurrection that we take to heart the fact that he did come to earth for us and that it was his ability to live a perfect life and die on that cross so that we could be forgiven of our sins. And we just thank you so much for giving us that opportunity to uh, to be righteous before you and to spend eternity with you. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. we prepare for the fruit of the vine, I'd like to read from Romans chapter 5, starting in 6, reading through verse 9. For while we were still weak, at the right time, Christ died for the ungodly. For one will scarcely die for for a righteous person, though perhaps for a good person, one would dare even to die. But God shows his love for us, in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Since therefore we have now been justified by his blood, much more shall we be saved by him from the wrath of God. Let us pray. Dear God, as we continue this uh, remembrance of your son and his blood and the power that it has to wash away our sins, we just thank you so very much for that and and pray that we partake of this in a manner that's pleasing in your sight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 